Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, Chair Jackson, Vice Chair uh, Morlock, uh, members of the committee. My name is Ernesto Falcon. I'm the Legislative Counsel for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Uh, we've been fighting for consumer privacy rights for more than 27 years, uh, and we're supported by more than 37,000 dues-paying members across the country. We're in unprecedented times. I, Congress opted to repeal consumer broadband privacy rights, which reverses a trend that, that federal law has, has had over personal information when using communications companies, uh, a trend that's lasted for more than 20 years. So let's be really clear. This, that repeal is just the start. It's the beginning of a federal dismantling of consumer protection. The Federal Communications Commission has already made clear its intent to abandon the common carrier status of broadband companies, which is the, what the privacy law is grounded in. Uh, AT&T has defeated the Federal Trade Commission and the Ninth Circuit, and that case is on, on appeal right now on whether the FTC has authority over AT&T. And it's possible by this time next year, there will be no federal rules, there will be no federal agency that has direct oversight over the telephone industry and substantially less oversight over the cable industry. No other laws can fill the void that AB 375 seeks to fill. AB 375 is the response to this federal retreat by codifying the FCC privacy rules. HIPAA, SOPIPA, FERPA, you name the other privacy laws, they will not address the ISP activities and, they can, and the ISPs are essentially a way to circumvent the protections that other privacy laws we have on the books seek to, seek to, to deal with. In EFF, we also have engineers who build technology for people to take kind of matters in their own hands to protect their privacy. So people have ways to block tracking and third-party tracking, ways that, that websites follow them on their online activity. We give that away for free. But our engineers have no way, have nothing, have no way to invent something that blocks the internet service provider. It is just not doable by the nature of the service of how internet service is provided. They're the only market player that can connect all the dots of what you do on the internet and you have no way to stop them and worse yet, half of Californians have one choice when it comes to high-speed broadband access. This is why 83% of Americans in uniform across political affiliation support the idea that an ISP, when using their personal information for resale, has to have their permission first. And that's what AB 375 does, it restores our broadband privacy rights and I thank you for your time.